What's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wanted to do sort of like a dramatic look. I'm going over dinner tonight. I don't know if I'm going to wear this out to dinner because like this is a lot more makeup than I normally wear guys. Like for a long time I haven't worn makeup like this like on the regs. But I really really like it. It's super glowy. I did like a really defined sort of like wing on the bottom and I just like really had a lot of fun doing this. This is definitely something that I don't often do and it's definitely not something that I would wear like on an everyday basis. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing it and I used a lot of different products that I don't normally use together so that was really fun too. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I think I had lipstick all over my teeth. I sure do. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next. So if you guys would like to see how I got this makeup look, please keep watching. All right, so I'm just gonna clip back my hair. Okay, so I already have like my base on, uh, which I am still gonna touch up because when I was wiping off my eyeshadow and stuff like that, I sort of, I wiped off some of my concealer. So I'm just gonna touch that up and then any areas, since I did have lunch, where I wiped off my makeup, I'm just gonna touch that up. I always like to just sort of like touch, if I wipe off my eyeshadow and stuff, like sometimes I don't do that so I don't have to go through like putting on um, more concealer or, or eye primer or anything. Touch up, I'm using the IT Cosmetic CC Cream, the same foundation that I used earlier. And I find that like whenever I'm just kind of like laying around or whatever, like right around my chin is where I lose like a lot of the coverage that I had applied earlier. So I'm just gonna like redo some of that. So I'm just gonna set where I touched up my concealer with my Laura Mercier translucent, with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So just like under the eyes and like anywhere that I'm gonna get shiny. I'm gonna touch up my brows just a little bit, like where I was laying down, so I feel like sort of like, and the tails are a little bit worn off. Um, so I'm just gonna sort of like touch those up a little bit right now. So I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, so I'm just gonna use the same thing and just sort of touch up around the edges where I find that they're a little bit worn off. I have a pimple right in my eyebrow right now, which is making it so annoying to fill them in. So I'm like, should I cover it? Like, do they normally go that high? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just putting some eye primer on. This is MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Painterly. It, this is an okay primer. Um, my other one's in my kit and I used it today because I did a prom makeup earlier today. If you guys have never done this with the tape before, you just wanna like stick it on the back. Oh, I'm out of breath from walking up the stairs. <laughs> just like stick it on the back of your hand just to get some of the stickiness off because you don't wanna put that on the delicate skin around your eyes. And then you just kind of follow the natural shape of your eye. And you don't have to press it on that hard, like all the way down. I just make sure that it's pressed on right here because that's gonna make the biggest difference. Oh, and it is, it's not very comfortable. <laughs> And so when you're doing this, you gotta make sure they're at the same angle because you can really tell if you're doing like a dramatic eye if they're not at the same angle. First, so I'm gonna start off with this, and what is this? Burgundy Times Nine by MAC, I use this all the time. And I'm gonna take these two colors right here. If you can see, maybe I'll add this one in too. So like these three like medium matte shades here. And I'm gonna stick those in my crease just so that we have like a crease base down there. It's funny because like a few years ago somebody asked me about this tape trick and I was like, do not put tape on your face. And then I saw someone do it and I was like, that's actually kind of awesome. So <laughs> uh, now I will occasionally do it myself. Okay, so I'm just putting these on, right in the crease, these three colors mixed together. Oh, and I'm using a Morphe R39, which is basically a, a dupe of the MAC 217, which is a Wicked brush. So I'm gonna switch to this Smashbox Cover Shot palette, and I'm gonna use this color right here. I think this is called Nirvana. I have a MAC 239, this is a mini one, but they're the same, and I'm going to use the side of that brush. I actually haven't used this like beautiful burgundy color yet, and I'm so excited. I feel like it'll make my eyes look super like greenish. So I'm gonna apply that on like the outer 
half probably of my eye yeah and it makes it look super green so the great thing about this tape also is that it will catch a lot of the fallout if you have any from these darker like more dramatic colors I thought it would be like more true to how it is in the palette but no biggie I still like it it's still very pretty so I'm taking this like right up to the crease and I'm really using that tape so I'm <laughs> really hoping that it's like well stuck you know um, so yeah I pretty much went well I just I guess I went just over halfway in and I honestly you guys I have like I'm just gonna sort of flick it up right there so that we have like some wing edge going on okay, so I'm gonna soften up around the edge of that with these mattes if you let them sit too long sometimes they don't blend as well and Smashbox I find that's especially true for So I'm making sure that I'm blending like right up at the front here too. I feel like I want some more of that like right up here towards the crease. I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna stick with this Smashbox palette and I'm gonna take the dark brown that's over on this side. Now this color, if you guys are using the exact same palette, it has a ton of fallout, so just be careful. And I'm gonna just press that right along sort of like the bottom here give this brush this R39 a little wipe and I'm gonna grab sketch from that amber or burgundy times nine palette and we're gonna start working that in sort of towards the outer corner here up into sort of like the crease area but not going over too far I feel like I like the purpley vibe that's happening here and I'm going like up into the crease with this purple sketch color as well this looks so weird with the tape on. It's like hard to tell what looks good. <laughs> so then I need a black. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Naked Basics black because I've heard that's a really good black. So I'm gonna use the other side. Oh, focus. I'm gonna use the other side of my little Mac 239 just to keep like the brushes to a minimum. And make sure you tap that off. Like black always has a lot of fallout. Really, I should have done my eyes first and then fixed my skin afterwards, but it's okay. Uh, and then we're going to just tap that along the wing area just so that it's like nice and crisp and defined with the black but because we're not wearing any liner we just want that to be like nice and defined there it's not going to be like a black smoky eye Okay, I gotta add like some glow in here soon because it's just looking like really deadish. And I'm gonna extend that like right down in here and sort of blend on the lid a little bit. back in with just a little bit of that red because I feel like we lost that a little bit. I'm just kind of like patting that right there on the outer third of the lid. I feel like we did like lose some of that and that made me sad because I wanted this to be like on the lid and the darker colors to be in the crease. So I'm gonna grab Honey Lust, which is this color right at the top of this palette. This is such a great like shimmery sparkle color. And this is just like a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to spray that with some Fix Plus so that it's more intense and there's less fallout. And then I'm going to pat that right into this like inner third of the lid. And I'm sharply defining my crease with this. 
This isn't so much like a cut crease, but I am like keeping it nice and sharp. I'm, normally I would like blend it, but I want it to be like very precise. I'm gonna take my blender brush again, and since it's a little bit drier, I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth like this between the two and it'll kind of help to blend them together and look like less blocky, if that makes sense. Then to highlight the brow bone, I'm just gonna grab Opal by Becca. This is a great highlighter, and it's got that sort of like goldish look as well without being like too intense. I'm just using like a very, very small amount on this random, clean, random blender brush. And that I will extend sort of down in this area. And you can use that to sort of blend out the top of that wing there. And I'm gonna use it to kind of try and blend these together a little more. I'm like scared to take the tape off. <sighs> okay, right, lose the tape very carefully. And you have a nice sharp line. Took off some of my makeup with it but it's all good. Okay, so I'm just using my IT Cosmetics makeup wipes. I'm just gonna kind of wipe off on my cheek here where we had all that fallout and like right along here. Should have done my skin after I redid the eyes. I should have just like started, but I just like, I don't know, what, like, let me know how you guys feel about that. Like, I find it so hard to do your eyes if your skin doesn't look perfect because I just feel like, especially if you were putting like these kind of colors on, if I had any redness, which I do, it would have been enhanced, I feel, by the, I don't know, by the colors that we chose. So anyway, let me know how you guys feel about that because I'm always like, how do people do that? <laughs> using a piece of paper towel I'm going to place that under my eye so I'm grabbing this ready color and this is on a Mikasa E310 just like any pencil brush will do and I just need to add a little bit of color to the bottom and connect it like sort of in the outer corner here and on the other side I'm going to use this much more precise Morphe PK45 and I'm going to grab Sketch in the bottom corner and I'm going to mix it with the black. Three different palettes today, no big D. I'm trying really hard to like keep the angle coming the same way from the bottom. Um, okay, so for lashes, this definitely has helped me decide I'm going to try my Ardell Faux Mink Lashes. I haven't tried these yet, so I'm really excited to see how they feel and everything. So let's do that. I'm going to put a teensy bit of mascara on my lash. Velvet Noir. Velvet Noir. Which is like a really, really good mascara. This is one of my favorites. I was telling somebody about this today. My eyelashes have gotten a lot longer since I've started using this. I, I don't know if it's supposed to do that or if it's just like conditioning my lashes better. But I, I love that mascara. It's expensive, but 100% worth it in my opinion. But of course, like, it better be good if you're spending almost $40 on it, you know what I mean? Okay, these lashes are so pretty. Focus. Aren't these, like, so fluttery and natural and beautiful? I've never used mink lashes before because I, I don't really like the idea of them. But these are faux mink, so I'm more than happy to try these. And so right off the bat, these have all kinds of glue stuck to them. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that on camera, but tons of glue stuck to them. So I got to pick that off if I can. Very fluttery. Okay, and they really like completely take away from my eyeshadow that I just spent a lot of time on. I hate when that happens. All right, let's trimmy, trimmy. I did trim them from the outside. So... And it's okay. 
So it sucks because I lose like that nice fluttery edge, but I don't like to trim them from the inside because if they're too long in there, then they're really uncomfortable. So fingers crossed guys that this works. First complaint about these is that there's too much glue that comes off of them, like out of the container. I find that really annoying and the band is like super thick. Like it's not thin like the other Ardell bands. It might be because of the way that the lashes like are stuck in there or whatever, but I also feel like the band is not consistent between the two lashes. Like uh, it's hard to explain and because you guys won't be able to see it, but the band is like uneven on this one and on this one it's like perfectly even and awesome. So I'm I'm not I'm not overly impressed before I even put them on. So let's just like fingers crossed, fingers crossed that they they look pretty and whatever, but so far, not that impressed, especially considering how expensive they were. I don't remember exactly, but they were like for sure over 10 bucks for one pair. So I know you can use them a bunch of times, but if I don't like them, I won't be using them again. Okay, here we go. So I'm just like taking my tweezers and squeezing them together and that's really helping them kind of like bond to my lash line. Anyway, let's go on with number two and we'll see. They're, there's no doubt about it that they're pretty and like they look really good with this kind of makeup. Just feel like they could be better. They could have been a lot better considering how good Ardell's lashes, like the regular lashes are. I feel like maybe my hopes were too high but I mean, if lashes is like your specialty, they should be good, you know? So better. I will say this, they're very comfortable. Like they're not as heavy as I thought they were going to be, which is really great. The band kind of wants to like flip out, you know what I mean? Like rather than like fit around my eye and like I don't have super like round sort of like protruding eyes. So, so the fact that these are like not sticking easily is kind of bugging me. Um, cause like somebody who does have super round eyes, like these would be hard to put on that person, you know? Well, good news is they look really good with this makeup and that's really all the good news I have about these lashes. So for bronzer and contour, I'm going to use this Ish Contour Palette. I'm going to use the bronzy color down here, which is my favorite bronzer right now. It's so pretty. Just had a little bit of an oil problem. So just going in with my Laura Mercier powder again. I'm going to go in with my NYX liquid liner and I'm going to try and cover up the band with some liquid liner. So wish me luck. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, so that is helping, which is like a relief, but... Do you guys see that? Come on, like for real. defeated. I hate liner. So here's a good tip for fixing your eyeliner when it messes up. Let it dry. Like mascara, eyeliner, anything that flicks onto your lid, let it dry because if you rub it around when it's wet, it's just going to rub it around even more and smudge it. But if you wait till it dries, you can get it off easier because it'll just kind of flake off. Okay, this is a Mikasa F1 
111. I'm using my Tarte Party blush. This is a good blush for pretty much like any look. If you have really light skin like mine, probably wouldn't be great for medium to dark skin tones. So it's too bad that this was the birthday gift for Sephora. Maybe they had some for darker skin, um, but to my knowledge they didn't. So that's a huge miss on Sephora and Tarte's behalf. Highlight, I'm going to use my favorite, Becca Opal, and this is a sample that I've been using for a long time that I got with my points at Sephora. I'm going to just zoom you guys out a little. There. And let's put a little highlight on. I think I am going to wear this look out tonight. I don't know. We'll see. See what the reaction I get is. My skin's super glowy because it's like very humid out today. So I don't need a ton of glow because I get like sort of a natural glow from my oily skin. I'm going to use Dervish Lip Pencil by MAC. I'm just going to put what's left over on my concealer brush around the outside of my lips just so that it's like nice and crisp. And apply that pencil. Alright, so I'm going to use Aquarius uh, Ultra Satin Lip by ColourPop. I love this color. So I'm going to make sure it's dry and go around it with Half Red by MAC and that'll kind of, it'll still be muted because of the Aquarius where it's lighter but it's gonna look a little bit more defined, you know? So just around the edge. So this is the Morphe G19 and I'm just gonna blend those together. Go to Fix Plus Setting Spray. So this is it for the finished look, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know that I've been doing like a lot of tutorials and people want to see some product reviews, but honestly, like I just haven't bought anything that new recently. I've been like totally cutting back on the shopping, which has been good for the wallet, but I feel like I haven't tried anything, any new beauty products in a really, really long time. So I am going to do like a little mini haul coming up, so I'll have some more reviews coming for you guys. Thank you guys again so, so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope that you guys learned something. Hope that you enjoyed. Hope you had fun. Hope you're still here. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Also make sure you let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next because I only want to make videos that you guys want to watch. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.